Hi! This is a video on how to create slideshow presentations using Jupyter, Markdown, and Reveal.js. My name is James Church. So what cool things can we do with Reveal.js, Markdown, and Jupyter? For starters, this is in your web browser, which makes it easier to share this content over the internet. Writing a slide deck in Markdown is as natural as typing. So the next time I, need, I go to the store, I need to buy some eggs, I need to buy some ham, and I need to buy iguana food. And writing up the slide of list items is far easier in Markdown than it is in PowerPoint. So if you're doing your research using Jupyter Notebooks, that's great. Your notebooks contain your code that will double as your presentation. By the way, Jupyter and Reveal.js support LaTeX equations. So here's the formula for pi. Pi is the circumference divided by the diameter. Now, notebooks are built for programming, so these aren't just slides, they're programming environments. For instance, here's a little bit of code I wrote in order to do a sign plot, and then there's the output of the plot. I didn't put that into my slides, that was already part of my notebook, and I told the slide rendering to render that part of the notebook. So in this video, we're going to learn what is Jupyter. We're going to learn how to create slides uh, using the IPython Markdown and Reveal.js system. And we're going to learn a little bit about the marked Markdown syntax for presenting. And we're going to learn how to render our slides. So first off, what is Jupyter? So Jupyter started out as the IPython environment. And IPython is an interactive shell for the Python programming language. And in many ways, I think IPython is better than the interactive environment that comes with Python. So Jupyter is in your web browser. So an interactive Jupyter session is called a notebook. And notebooks are great because they're easy to share. And Jupyter began as a project just for Python, but now extends to many languages. So let's make a slideshow. Uh, here are the steps that we're going to take in order to complete our slideshow. We're going to clone, we're going to clone the reveal.js directory. We're going to create a new notebook. We're going to set the view to slideshow. We're going to write a few slides. And then we're going to use the nb convert command line tool to convert this notebook to a reveal.js slideshow. All right, let me get out of here. Okay. So I have a directory on my folder called presentations, and we're going to start here. And you can see that there's nothing in this folder. So I'm going to go back to my web browser. And I want you to do a Google search. We're going to do GitHub Reveal.js. All right, so here's the Reveal.js HTML presentation framework. I'm going to get out of full screen mode. I'm going to grab the URL. That's all I'm really worried about here. I'm going to go back to my terminal, and we're going to clone this repository. So git clone, and then I'm going to paste that URL, and it's going to download this project to my computer. So now whenever I do ls, I now have the reveal.js directory. If you see that, we're ready to move forward. Now let's start our notebook system. Great, I have my notebook system ready to go. Let's create a new notebook. I'm gonna make this a Python 3 notebook. You'll see that I have Haskell installed. I've been doing Haskell videos all summer. But we're gonna do Python 3 notebook this time. So I have a blank Python 3 notebook. And let's rename this my slideshow. After I get the notebook renamed, I need to click on View, Cell Toolbar, and Slideshow. And what that does is, is it's going to create this slide type option that appears in every cell. So if I click on that slide type option, I've got several options such as slide, subslide, fragment, skip, and notes. We're going to do a standard traditional slideshow. So everything in this presentation is going to be slides. 
The other thing we have to do is we have to set every cell to be a markdown slide. All right, so in order to do a full heading for the beginning of your notebook, you begin your markdown with a single pound sign. So I'm gonna call this presentation my slideshow on circles. So this is gonna be my slideshow about circles. We're gonna make our, our slideshow. Now if you want a slightly smaller heading, which would be great for your name, we're gonna use two pound signs. I'm gonna say by James Church. This is my slideshow about circles. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit shift enter on that cell. And you're gonna see it's gonna render the markdown in that first cell. Let's go on to slide two. Let's talk about, oops, I need to make sure the slide type is set to slide and I need to make sure that the block is set to markdown. And let's create properties of a circle. All right, and let's create a, a few bullet points. And to make a bullet point, we begin a list with a hyphen. So circles have a diameter. Circles have a circumference. All right, and let's do one more. Uh, here's the formula for pi. And as you can see, I'm putting one dollar sign, then slash pi, and then another dollar sign. That is the inline LaTeX command for, uh, in order to render pi. Now we can do a full width command for LaTeX, and that is two dollar signs. So pi is equal to, and we'll put this as a fraction, the circumference divided by the diameter. Now if I hit shift enter here, you'll see that the slash pi has now changed to the symbol of pi, and then our formula over here has now changed to the actual rendered formula. Great, so let's do a conclusion side. Again, I need to set the markdown, and I need to set the slide type to slide, and we'll do a conclusion side. In conclusion, now we'll do three headers this time. Math is good. All right, not the most exciting presentation in the world. Now, after I do shift enter, it's gonna create a new block beneath that, and that will create a fourth slide. I'm, I'm gonna hit the scissor icon up here in order to cut that fourth cell that was just created. So uh, I think we're ready to render our wonderful slide presentation. So I'm gonna go back over to my terminal. I'm going to create a new uh, terminal window here. Uh, let's, oh, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to make sure everything is saved. So we're going to save and checkpoint. So we're ready to go. I'm going to go back over to my terminal. Let's render this. Here's the command. So it's Jupyter NB convert and then two slides, and then we type in the slideshow that we want to convert. That's myslideshow.ipynb. And then we have to put in the extension reveal prefix, and then we're gonna say reveal.js. Then it's gonna render our slides. Great. So if I do ls, you'll see that I have a new file here, myslideshow.slides.html. I can render this using IceWeasel, the default browser in Debian, and we're gonna do myslideshow.slides.html. And then I can go full screen. And now I'm ready to present my slideshow about circles. So this is my slideshow about circles by James Church. Here are the properties of a circle. Circles have a diameter. Circles have a circumference. Here's the formula for pi. Pi is equal to the circumference divided by the diameter. In conclusion, math is good. All right, there you go. From start to finish, we created a reveal.js uh, Jupyter uh, markdown slideshow.